One of the most common tropes in film noir is that every deceitful dame has to be counterbalanced by her forthright and reliable opposite. Impact may be the most extreme example. Helen Walker is the most frosty and cunning character in a noir since, well, since she played Dr. Lilith Ritter in 1947's Nightmare Alley. By contrast, Ella Raines' saintly war widow is the epitome of all American goodness, without being sticky about it. Raines was a fixture in film noir, and this was the gal she typically played, self-possessed and resourceful, never the femme fatale, much like Lauren Bacall. Not coincidentally, Howard Hawks, who was known for these types of female characters, discovered both Bacall and Raines. Although she was a war widow in the film, Raines was luckier in real life. Her husband at this time, Robin Olds, was a decorated fighter pilot who had survived many combat missions in World War II. Helen Walker was not as fortunate. On New Year's Eve in 1946, she was involved in a serious car accident after picking up some hitchhikers on the outskirts of Palm Springs. One of the passengers was killed, and Walker was charged with manslaughter, although the charge was eventually dropped for lack of evidence. But the bad publicity lingered. Walker only made three more movies after Impact. Now, if you thought Walt and Irene's apartment building looked familiar, then you've seen Vertigo. The Brocklebank Apartments at the top of Knob Hill is where Kim Novak lived in Alfred Hitchcock's 1958 masterpiece. The Popkins must have liked the way San Francisco treated them because they'd return there to make their next film, the 1950 noir DOA, which made even more use of city locations. After that, three of the Popkins' four remaining films were noir, all made between 1950 and 52. The Second Woman, The Well, one of the great anti-racism films, and The Thief, in which Ray Milan played a communist spy who doesn't utter a word of dialogue. Hardcore movie fans out there may have recognized the actress playing Ella Raines' mother as Mae Marsh, whose career went all the way back to 1915, when she starred with Lillian Gish in D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation. Another player in that influential film was Wallace Reed, the husband of renowned actress Dorothy Davenport. Reed became a huge star in his own right in the silent era, until he became addicted to morphine after being injured in a train wreck. Following Reed's death in 1923, his wife quit acting to become a producer, writer, and director. Crediting herself as Mrs. Wallace Reed, Dorothy Davenport made films like Human Wreckage, The Red Kimono, and Road to Ruin, cautionary tales about the perils of narcotics and prostitution. Later, as Dorothy Reed, she stuck mostly to screenwriting, including turning Jay Dreitler's original story into the script for Impact. After this, she wrote scripts for a couple of films starring Francis the Talking Mule, which were directed by Arthur Lubin, who made Impact. The Francis films were so successful, Lubin swiped the idea for a TV series. He directed 131 episodes of Mr. Ed during its five-year run on CBS in the early 60s. Head over to the Noir Alley Facebook page or Twitter feed to let me know what you thought of Impact. And then let's make a date to reunite next week, same time, same place, for another noir from 1949, one based on a story by Samuel Fuller, and directed by the great Douglas Sirk. Cornell Wilde and Patricia Knight star in Shockproof, which is how I always describe Ben Mankiewicz's wife, Lee.